Kane the summer of 2019 has been busy at Bracknell County FC. Uh, do you want to explain a little bit about the appointment of the new staff who are working within the football club? Yeah, so a lot of the uh, a lot of the people that we appointed over the summer are people that we've been speaking to for 12 to 24 months. Um, you know, you start with the introduction of um, I think if you go back actually you start with the introduction of Ross Ross Weathers, Weatherstone our, um, our under 23s manager I actually spoke to Ross 18 months two years ago I actually met him with uh, Butch Michael Butcher our uh, first team assistant and at that point they were coming to talk to me about running our reserves and I'm very much when I meet people I stay in touch and if it doesn't kind of fit then I was impressed when I met them both at that point and I thought you know this role is not quite right but let's just mark that and we'll talk again and me and Ross carried on talking and we talked you know we were talking relentlessly until you know with, with the creation of the uh, the International Academy and through that period I then started meeting other kind of significant local um, kind of UA for A, UA for B level coaches um, I met uh, Steaders, Aaron Steadman, our first team coach. Again, would have been 18, 12, 18 months ago in his capacity as our, where he was the, um, or is, the under 18s Barks and Bucks manager. So they'd host games here, they'd be in and out of the facility. So, you know, I had a lot of time to speak and meet with these people and, and really get to understand that, understand their passions and why they're involved in football and what they want to do. Um, and in meeting all, you know, in meeting them all, you know, conversations just carried on rolling for for quite a long, long time, really, and, and um, got to the point, you know, I knew I wanted to make a change. And when that kind of that moment in my head that um, shone bright, and, and when I thought, you know, we we need need to make a change, was kind of we just lost away at Hayes and Yedin. Um, one of our key players left after that game, and I just felt, we, you know, as a club, we we needed to make we needed to, to to make some changes, and that's when all of them conversations I'd had with a number of people. And bearing in mind, I come from a background I spent eighteen years in recruitment, so succession planning, recruiting, speaking to people that has been my life. Um, well, certainly the first half of my career was spent in that world, so. You know, my network and building my network locally has been a big part and I started to pull together and started to pull conversations in. So there was speculation out there that I was speaking to this person and that person. I've been speaking, I speak to people all the time. I'm always speaking to people. And I just started to, you know, then I, I started to, um, as, soon as, as soon as I knew that Sam was going to be uh, looking come the end of the season, he stepped down at Maidenhead as number two. Uh, well, he, he said, he, he put it out there that he was going to be stepping down as number two and looking for, for a number one seat. And I, I kind of looked at that and I thought, you're, you're a really good fit. 29 years of age, 10 years at, at um, Maidenhead. He's, he's been on that journey with Maidenhead where he's taken him, you know, under the, as, as a, in a number of roles. He's been under 18's manager. Um, he's worked within the club in a number of capacities prior to Maynard, he was, he was at Reading. So he's done a number of roles within football. He's invested a lot of time and energy in himself personally to improve and better himself in football. He's very, very committed. He's out watching. I mean, his network and the number of games. That The thing that impressed me the most about Sam was the volume of games the guy consumes in a week. It's just unbelievable. Um, and he juggles a family and a job and football. So I was really, really impressed. Really impressed with that. And uh, yeah, so you know, going through the leagues and and uh, you know with Maidenhead and he's experienced now the national league with Maidenhead. Thought you know, he's seen that journey above. What does it look like? Because you know, step four is a, a really, really tough one. Because if you look down from step four, you've got well, you can see step five, six, seven pub football. So you're looking down the pyramid, it's very, 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 very social. You kind of look up the pyramid, well, historically, we as a club have always been in that lower half of the uh, the non-league pyramid. So, you know, 
it um, we needed to bring people in that perhaps saw the other half of the pyramid, the half from four up to the professional game, up to step one. I mean, step one now is pretty much the professional game. It's pretty, you know, it's full time. So I, that's the thing that impressed me most about Sam is his um, his knowledge of them leagues above. And then everything kind of started to fall into place. Sam knows Aaron. They've worked together at Maidenhead. So, so he kind of, that, you know, he put him, that kind of just naturally happened once me and Sam started speaking. Aaron come into the fold. Um, once the season had ended and we started to make our changes, we was able to speak to, to Butch, the last year's first team coach, um, or assistant coach to, to Jeff Warner. And that, that then fitted. So we started to bring together the contacts of all the people we've been speaking to and in discussions with. And they all started to, you know, they, they, they knew each other. And uh, that, it was quite an easy, in the end, it was quite easy to put it all together because they all kind of share the same common goal. And they, they certainly share our vision of bringing talent through from within. They, they're a hundred percent committed to that over the kind of the medium to long term. So, you know, great. I'm you know, really pleased that we got Sam. Really pleased that uh, Butch stayed on as his, as his number two. So he, Butch kind of stepped up. He got a bit of a promotion there, and then Stead has come in as uh, first team head coach. And then below them, um, you got Matt Stannard that's come in as performance. And Matt's been unbelievable. You know, he's uh, he's working on the players' nutrition, hydration. He's brought in uh, a partnership with Surrey University, where we've got two sports science students working within the club, working on you know working on in injury prevention um, and rehab and recovery. And that's been phenomenal to watch that and fitness of, of our of our regular starters. Watching that this year and watching that over pre-season, it's been phenomenal. It's felt at points like wow this is kind of really kicked on uh, another level so you know, i've been really impressed so far uh, with what i've seen and what they've brought i'm really excited to see what they bring obviously outside looking in people are saying the pressure's on them because oh, you know team was second last year well look we're one year at step four the journey we're on a long journey let's see where they'll take us this year but you know no one's under any mass pressure I think everyone will put the right you know the, the right motivation around each other um, we're an ambitious club and I think everyone shares that ambition so hopefully the season gets off to, to a good solid positive start